Laura Corrington launched the international campaign against tampon tax, which gathered more than a quarter of a million signatures and has led to changes both in the United Kingdom and European laws. In her book, Speak Up, Corrington writes an empowering, honest and timely guide to activism for women and children brought up in the age of the Internet and social media, exploring what it means to stand up for what you believe in. Speaking now, up to us is the author of the book, Miss Laura Corrington. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, Laura, your campaign against the tampon tax changed laws and inspired similar campaigns in other countries. How did you decide what to incorporate in this book from your campaign? And also what inspiration um, you took from other campaigns like Me Too? Yes, thank you so much for having me. Um, and this is essentially a book that I kind of wish I had when I was younger. Mm. And I think if I had had this book, I would maybe have campaigned a lot earlier. Um, mm. I think a lot of young people, especially when I go into schools and speak to kids, they feel like they can't make changes. You know, they're not old enough to vote. How can they be old enough to campaign? Um, but of course, anyone can campaign at any age, and especially young people who have an insight into the problems that they face and how to solve them. And you write, political changes don't have to be large. They can be everyday actions. It explains some of your everyday things that, that young readers can do to feel empowered. Uh, there's so many things from conversations with each other about things like periods to tackle period stigma or about healthy understandings of consent, which is something that we don't talk enough about. Um, yeah, so many conversations can be had that can have real impact, real difference, um, as well as lobbying like your school governing body, for example, to implement free period products in the bathrooms or to have an anti-harassment policy on campus to reduce the sexual harassment that kids face in school. Um, there are so many smaller acts that are so powerful and make a big difference that we kind of sometimes overlook for the bigger campaigns that change national laws. The book also tackles things like feminism, consent, as you just mentioned, body positivity, social media, internet trolls. What advice do you have for teens who want to start those conversations more openly with their own peers? Get to go for it and to see what change you can make. This amount of ripples that have happened, even just from the tampon tax campaign, which started in my bedroom when I was a student, um, just, you know, with an online petition. Um, and the amount of change that we've managed to make um, kind of hopefully shows that other people could also make a lot of changes, especially online, especially today. And I'm sure now really is an exciting time for a number of reasons. But there are a lot of people, parents in particular, who may feel reluctant to bring up certain topics with their teenagers, like period, poverty, consent and relationship taboos. What advice do you have for how to have those more difficult conversations? It means so much to a young person for their grandparents or parents to just talk openly about these topics and to just really listen to their experiences, their concerns and their anything that's on their mind to do with those to do with those areas. Um, so, yeah, just having those open and honest conversations is so important to learn from your child as well as trying to teach them um, is also really important. And I just think, yeah, just have putting the bat on the table and just kind of going for it is really important. And um, even though it can be a little bit difficult and some people kind of feel a little bit embarrassed about talking um, about these topics, the more you talk about it, the more open you'll feel and the more you'll want to talk about it as well. And that yeah, line of communication is so important for kids to raise any problems they have. Um, and at the moment, you know, a lot of young people feel like they can't talk about consent, they can't talk about periods, and then a lot of people suffer in silence and they can't overcome the problems that they're facing when actually they would be able to had they been able to have those conversations. And the final chapter of Speak Up is devoted to the next generation of young activists. What advice do you have for young girls and, and women who would like to, to follow in your path? And, and just the, the takeaway that you're hoping that, that, that young readers will, will get from this book. So I'm hoping that young people get from this book that they really can make changes, no matter how big, no matter how small, that hopefully these will give them the practical tools to doing that, as well as hopefully building their confidence. Um, also, I hope they take away that failing at something isn't necessarily a failure completely. Um, the tampon tax, for example, campaign that I ran had so many failures throughout the petition that you really don't often hear about in the media because obviously media kind of picks up on the positives the successes um which means that young people when they start campaigning the second they face a failure they think oh my whole campaign is going to fail which is not true at all um to keep going to be persistent through those you know pits and and everything else and um to have fun while you're doing it 
to keep focused and just yeah, hopefully this will kind of create a whole new wave of people who feel confident and have the tools to make the changes that they want to see in the world. Laura, we thank you so much for joining us. Speak Up will be available for U.S. readers to purchase starting tomorrow. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.